Hello, this is Dr. Linda Martinez-Louis. I'm the host of the Narcissist in Your Life podcast, a clinical expert on the narcissistic personality, a psychotherapist, and author. I offer in-depth analysis of the family of origin, as well as the individual intrapsychic structure, strategies and practices for those psychologically harmed and abused by toxic predatory narcissistic personalities through my books, international telephone consultations, and global podcasts. I put the emphasis on helping individuals to access the calming, restorative healing parts of the parasympathetic body-mind systems that lead to healing and the recovery of your true, authentic self. I want to speak with you about from childhood trauma to partnerships with narcissists. There is a pattern of psychological and emotional abuse that follows children from narcissistic parents to partnerships with narcissistic personalities. Childhood trauma causes a series of severe intrapsychic wounds that are exceedingly painful and gut-wrenching. The life of a child who is continually abused from the time he or she is born is immeasurably horrific. Those who have not experienced childhood trauma can only approximate and imagine what these individuals suffer and endure. Trained psychotherapists can have a difficult time appreciating the depths and all-consuming qualities of this level of abuse. These small children are at the mercy of cold, enraged, narcissistic parents who make them into servants and treat them like slaves. No one pays attention to their cries, their screams, their pleas for mercy, which is not going to come. Crying out in these situations causes more physical and psychological abuse. Crying children are often struck physically if they continue making loud noises. Everything must be kept quiet so that no one outside the family knows the ugly, despicable truth. The narcissistic mother glares menacingly at her small child. This stare is very frightening. When a child grows up, the victim of narcissistic abuse, he or she is conditioned to this experience, and it grows in with the intrapsychic structure. As this individual becomes an adult, the expectation of being treated cruelly continues. The narcissistically abused child doesn't develop a strong sense of self-entitlement. To be treated with respect, empathy, understanding, having an appreciation of you as a unique individual. To survive, some children identify with the aggressor, the abusive narcissistic parent. This is repeated in, child, in adulthood with the individual who partners with a narcissistic personality and maintains this maladaptive relationship. After many years and decades of marriage to the narcissistic spouse, the non-narcissist is the recipient of the psychopathology of their partner. Silent treatments, projections of vituperative rage, constant lying, double dealing, threats, vile criticisms, and humiliations. At some point, the non-narcissistic spouse begins to awaken and recognizes that something is very wrong with this non-marriage. With research and insight, you recognize that you have been trapped in a nightmare with a narcissistic partner and that you deserve to take a different track. You are moving forward in the direction that belongs to you, your pathway to freedom and deep inner peace. You pick up the speed and confidence. Continue along your course with daily self-care, the uses of your many creative gifts, sleep, rest, nutrition, move and exercise your way, some form of meditation, being in nature and prayer, whatever helps you to get a sense of grounding and inner peace. Today's narcissistic society is impatient and dismissive of those who have suffered in these extreme ways. They become bored 
when the person doesn't get cured quickly. Please dispense with these individuals who are pushing you in a way you cannot go until you fully acknowledge that you have been narcissistic abu narcissistically abused and that you have suffered childhood trauma and it is gut-wrenching and horrible and you deserve to heal and restore yourself, transform, evolve, and create. I understand childhood trauma very well and I honor those who have been through these series of ordeals and hells. And I know that you can recover and free yourself. So be sure to put yourself first and know that you can travel this road less traveled. It's a very fine road. The road that leads and takes you to the deepest parts of your true authentic self. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Healing After the Narcissist, and go to my website, thenarcissistinyourlife.com. You can purchase my books there, Recovering and Healing After Narcissist, and Freeing Yourself from the Narcissist in Your Life. I, can, I also want to give you excerpts of two chapters from my latest book, Recovering and Healing After the Narcissist. So fill out the contact form there, and uh, I will give you a PDF of those chapters. So also you can fill out a contact form if you're interested in an international telephone consultation. I deeply enjoy the time that we spend sharing these podcasts. I look forward to speaking with you very soon.